Whoa! Oh, welcome! Yes. <laughs> yes, okay, folks. We are back on the Zoom with the star of Second Wives Club, Shauna Craig. Welcome, darling. Welcome, yeah. Thank you. All right, darling, we have to take a seat, so you know the drill. One, two, three! Wow! So, wait, before Hi. we get into the interview. Yes. So, the Second Wives means you're the second wife. You're married right now. I'm not exactly a second wife, though. What is. Okay. She's like the fourth or oh, the She did. The fifth. Like, but are you married that. right now? Yes. Is I your husband here? No, he lives okay, in New Okay, then I just need to tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> You're sexy as hell. I you are beautiful. Bad. You're beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Lorenzo Lamas. Well, listen, I hope you're not watching this show Lorenzo right now. Lorenzo Lamas is gonna kick your butt. Oh, no, I like Lorenzo Lamas. No, no, no. Like no, but, but we interviewed him for Latin Nation. You know what? Totally this, he deserves like a woman like this. Let me, let me bring it back. Lorenzo, you deserve a woman like this, okay? Yes. You're a cool guy. Si el miedo no anda en burro, diríamos en México, ¿no? No, Lorenzo Lamas. Ay, mejor le pido perdón. Ah, yes, yes. He's a stuntman. Mira, tiki, tiki, tiki. Anyway, you are very hot, and I can't say that in front of everyone. Okay. So then, so, without getting in trouble. <laughs> I mean, first of all, I love the show. It's so fun to watch all the girls interacting. I haven't seen them get quite catty yet. Um, but maybe that'll like be... That? You will. You're yeah. gonna see it. It gets a little, a little... Yeah, there's some, there's some little tiffs. Was anybody opposed to you uh, participating in the show, or did you think it twice? Uh, no, I was really excited just to be able to show my side of my life and my okay. story. And so, no, everyone was very supportive. Now, uh, is it because, you know, all the things that you've gone through, you've been the surrogate, to your stepdaughter, correct? Mm -hmm. And I mean, having a man like Lorenzo Lamas who carries all this baggage, is yes. it exhausting to be with a man like that? It's, uh, the head baggage is very heavy. Well, what oh. do you yeah. mean by the baggage? <laughs> well, the now explain. we want to know it all. Um, I mean, he's, you know, six kids, and I'm the fifth wife, and just the ups and downs of just, you know, the business, being an actor, it's been a lot. So. He's a stallion. He's, he's a stud. <laughs> <laughs> so when you said um, about the Second Wives show, so what is it about? What can we expect? What's the Where's the name coming from? How many girls or women are in it? Um, yeah, there's there's six of us, okay. and um, only one is actually a second wife. Oh. But uh, it's just, you know, being in L.A. and being with an older man, it just comes with, a, you know, there's a preconceived idea, idea about who you are and being young mm. and it's like oh you're a gold digger so it's like we all understand that sort of um, just the situation with being young with an older man. Well, what are the benefits um, of going out with an older man? The reason I'm saying this is because <laughs> I'm starting to get old oh, and I'm probably going to have to hey. find myself a younger woman at a certain point because yeah. the maturity level is catching up. Come on, what about our deal? You're much younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> you're, young, you're, you're younger enough. I'm kidding. Um, but is there are there benefits to going out with a younger man? I mean, an older man? I assume that the older man has to be the kind of older man that uh, maintains a certain amount of vigor. Yes. Uh, I mean, I just think that they've yeah. been through enough mm -hmm. that they can appreciate you more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Lorenzo, he he's the older man that wants to go to bed at nine o'clock at Are night. Are you so, serious? Yeah. But then we have Shiva, who is engaged to Muhammad Hadid, oh, and yeah. he's much older, and he's the party animal, and she wants to go to bed at nine o'clock. See, this oh, is man. the part so, that I don't get. Like, he is old, like way older. How is it that he's a party animal? I mean, what does he drink? <laughs> Red Bull all day or something? I don't know. He's just high on life. He just love. He just loves people. He loves being. Out. Really? So you were saying that Lorenzo lives in New York and you're right now in LA. Yes. Are you guys like shooting the show here? Because how do you deal with a long distance relationship? Is there any, you know, extra drama added to the relationship because of it, or is it uh, making things a little calmer? It's uh, it's been an adjustment because we were living in Las Vegas mm -hmm. and uh -huh. then I moved back for work and for the show and then he moved to New York where his family is. He also flies wow. helicopters, so that's his. New Hobby. career. It's his new <laughs> career. Yeah. New really? toy. A yeah. helicopter. Yes. So he's, he's doing <laughs> that, and uh, it's it's difficult, but we're both pursuing the things that we love, and you know we support each other. That's the trick. If you if you're in a relationship where the two people that you know they, they say this for a relationship to work, you gotta have three lives. Have you heard this one? No. Really? Three lives. Your life, uh -huh. their life, and the life you share, and you have to have all three for uh, it to work. Right. So if you're having your life, and this person has their life, and then you have a life you share, maybe sometimes the space and the time apart. Mm -hmm actually helps and when yeah. you're with each other you focus on each other and you're present. I agree. And awesome. you were infatuated yeah. since the beginning because I know you guys were what engaged for two months or something and you got married in after five months of being together or something? No. How we, was that? We got engaged after three and we got married in a year and a half. So Okay, the, so not five months. Yeah, the internet is not quite accurate. Good to know, because everybody yeah. thinks the other you know right. the other side of the Screw yeah. the internet. I don't believe anything <laughs> I read on the internet, but I believe everything I watch on TV. Oh, of course, thank you. The Zoom! 
By the way, you're, you're gonna tell us they were just talking about our relationship the entire time. Let's oh go gosh. back to the show. What? Tell us a little bit about how your personality compares to the other personalities on the show. Uh, well, I'm poor, so poor? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not poor. Um, but no, I'm oh the I have uh, the the lesser of the money as far as the show goes. Okay. All the girls are really, you know, they're doing a lot and they're very successful. And I feel like I'm just starting over. When yeah. you start over, it's like you're working from the bottom. So. Um, I think that everyone's just like, oh, Sean, I'm really proud of you. You're like really doing it. And um, I'm kind of the peacemaker. So I'm always trying to bring everyone together. And I'm like the only person that can talk to everybody because That's a good people role. start to get issues. Well, okay. it kind of puts you in an awkward yeah. But it puts you in an awkward are position. A position to have a spin off. No, we have, oh, you're, are you doing what I do? But at least you have all the info. <laughs> no, you know, I'm man, copycatting. People, people trust you, so you have all the info, you have all the secrets. I don't so. want to know all the secrets. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> Like, it's too stressful. I'm like, I, I know nothing. I like nothing. I know nothing. Can I give you some more insights of wisdom that I'm trying yes. to accrue? You are so wise. Thank How old you. are you? Uh, <laughs> 37 years old already. Wow. Watch out. So no, take this out. These are the three rules, especially when you're dealing with anybody that works in entertainment or media. One, uh -huh. you got to look them in the eye and speak from the heart. You got that. Okay. okay. Two, you got to go away to come back. And huh? three, mm. it'll come to you later. Okay. And three, if anyone ever asks you to keep a secret, it's a lie. Hey, that one's true. Some of them. Oh my God, really? That I don't know. That about I that. Some of them Umberto. Because sometimes somebody sells you something and they're like, uh, "Oh, but keep it a secret." Okay. Especially in our business, this okay. might not apply He's to accountants. About the okay. The gossip, industry. the gossip, the gossip, the yeah. gossip. Okay, yeah, so where true. do you hope this show will Wisdom, take your career? Girl. What do you want to do, um, you know, as a result of this? Um, well, I mean, I'm pursuing acting, so Wonderful. I would like to be doing more of that. And okay. then I'm all about female empowerment, and so I just think that more of that, and I'm into healing and crystals, and so, you know, oh, just bring I in. love healing and crystals. He loves that yeah. stuff, too. Oh, I actually, I gave my crystal away last night. Um, I what? gotta get a new one. It you was did? A tiger. It was a tiger's <laughs> eye. You gave him one of your tiger's eye? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, but I'll get another one. What? Oh, yeah. no, that's the question. Did you give it to yeah. him? Uh, I was at the LA screenings. It wasn't a romantic thing. It was actually somebody that hopefully will help me with my uh, career. Oh. <laughs>